In this video, the two most common scales, the natural major and the natural minor. If you know those two and you're a bass player, you're on your way to become a good bass player. Now I won't go into the, you should practice every day and you should practice your scales. I'm not the boss of you, do whatever you want. I'll be honest, I don't practice scales every day either. Maybe that's why I'm just a bass player and not that kick-ass lead guitar player. But hey, I enjoy my instrument, so I don't care. As we're still in the disclaimer part of this video, I will make two notes of things I suggest you try as well. First of all, use a metronome. Whether it's an old-timey one that says tick tick ting, or a modern one which says beep beep woof, or whatever sounds you prefer, doesn't matter. The, what does matter is you're a bass player, you're the backbone of the band, don't look at this exercise as just practicing your skills. Look at this as an exercise on playing in the pocket, being on time, and each count and each measure should be right. Try it at 10 beats, at 20 beats, at 30 beats a minute, whatever is needed. Just make sure that it's nice and on time. That's also always very important for our breed. Second thing I suggest you use is... It's not in screen, so let's move it over. My trusted iPad, which I use for all my scores and taps. Um, I don't mean use an iPad. Again, do it the old-timey way and print the scale if you want. I have the link in the box below, but just look at it. Even if you know it by heart, Write it out for a different note, try it or write it out somewhere else, but use it also as an exercise to read and play at the same time. If you can do it with a scale, which is fairly easy, you will be able to do it with other things as well, and you will be able to pick up songs faster than just trying to memorize them. I'm all for the memorizing method, but having the skill of being able to read music is certainly a benefit. So without further ado, let's do some scales, shall we? Now, I don't know about you, but when I was eight, I was forced, actually forced to go to music school and I had to learn my basic C scale there. And because of those methods back in the days, whenever I play a scale, I always start with Do, Re, Mi, or in the latter version, C, D, E. Which kind of sucks because the example I have here on my sheet and the one I will be playing is in G and still my mind always goes... My mind went. So my mind always goes C, D, E while I'm playing G, A, B. But for me, it's still C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The singing is certainly not in tune. I wouldn't even classify it as singing. The point I'm trying to make is, if you're playing a scale, really learn the notes. Even say them out loud, sing them out loud, do whatever you want, but just make that mind trick that it's not C, D, E, uh, yeah, C, D, E, <coughs> but see, I'm now even confusing myself, just make sure that you know it's G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I can't make my voice stay monotonous, and I have something in my head like either do it right and sing the notes correctly in tune, or don't change the pitch at all. So from henceforth, I will avoid trying to sing the notes that I can't sing. I shall just remain playing them. Anyway, it's the major scale, so let's have a listen to it. What I also 
also will stress as a good exercise, do it with correct fingering. Use all your four fingers. If you do a major scale, start with your middle finger on the root note and then use them as necessary. So uh, it's in the, uh, sorry, it's middle, pinky, index, middle, pinky, uh, index, sorry, ring, pinky. Memorize that one if you like, but just try and do it correctly. So again. And just for good measure. That is our major scale. Now, I also made an exercise because if I'm teaching, I'm uh, the kind that will give you an exercise an exercise while I sit at front and read the newspaper. So the exercise I wrote is also again in the PDF below or just play along with whatever you'll be seeing around. Uh, actually, let's do it around here somewhere. Um, as I said, rather slow and correct than fast and faulty. So, really slow. If you want to play it faster, just fast forward this video or set a mode for yourself that is fast enough. But just as an example, I wanted to play it nice and slowly. Uh, something I did as well, just because again, I'm fairly, not fairly, I'm very neurotic. Uh, I wanted to end with something nice. So if you look at the exercise, while we play and we start with our middle finger on the root note, I end with the fifth power chord because it has the nice ring to any chord and it's a nice way to end any exercise. So there I switch to index finger, the uh, ring finger on the fifth of the A string and the pinky on the uh, octave of the root note. So. Other things you could add to the exercise if you want, alternate your picking, so really go for the, for the normal scale or for the actual exercise, really alternate your finger or do whatever, like do it with one finger just to see what it gives. silly but it's so natural to alternate or to use your index finger as your main finger I just screwed up maybe you will as well just practice because the more dexterity you have the more control on your hands and your fingers the better you will be as a player anyway over to our minor scale shall we if you're under the weather a bit and you don't think everything is major and great just do something minor. That's our scale up and down. And again, let's do the exercise with the metronome.
just a quick reminder, if you're doing the minor scale, we start with the index finger on the root note and go index, ring, pinky, index, ring, pinky, index, ring. So it's the most straightforward finger placing scale that I know. Except, of course, for the gent scale that uh, Robert Baker taught us all at GitCon. Anyway, let's go back to the minor scale, shall we? And there you have it, major, natural, minor, natural, or natural, minor, natural, major, whatever you prefer, I suppose. Just sit back, relax, and practice them, at least from time to time, okay? Have a good week, and see you next week with a fresh video. Hey there everybody, if you're seeing this video, either I'm abducted, either I'm abducted, chances are I'm abducted, I'm likely,